Okay. What time is it? Like 9 30? There's my partner in crime here. We've got a load of stuff. 940. 940? 940? Oh. Let me show you. $50. So pretty. Okay, going in. Piece. It fits perfectly under our sign. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. But we have to rearrange stuff. We sold two of the white bar stools two of those um and a few smalls this week so we're just gonna rearrange and um we'll show you how things turn out oh, pretty good here honey is getting the glass put in this piece we needed some little pieces of i don't know stuff to get it in there but I just have a little bit more to do I gotta organize this but um, there we go glass is it that looks better I just wish we could turn it on is there another plug up there yeah let's go ahead and do that So I'm just about done, and we're just about, I'm talking on the video. Handsome Dan and Otis. Handsome Dan and Otis. So I'll do, I'm going to do a thorough walk through here in a minute. Oh, and I got my cards up. And honey just lost about a pint of blood getting this done. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> quick, because, well, as quick as I can. Um, because there's so many people walking through. So this is how he rearranged. So this is the front, and this is the cards, and I did a little diagram for the cards. So I moved these cabinets out to the front, that one there, and the, uh, the matching one over there. This window here could not get hooks in it, so this will be a leaner. And then he's got these hung. We have more at the mall we're gonna pick up. So there's the top coming down. This is gonna be bigger than the house by the time you guys are done. I know. I keep having cry transition from the house to the <laughs> Yeah, it is. So there's the new shelf. And it could be more loaded up, but we don't like it overcrowded. You don't think that's overcrowded, do you, on that shelf? And then this shelf that Honey loves so much. blue dresser, two B stools, I love the way this looks.
and shutters. And then I have this on top of this cabinet and then stuff displayed in there. So full, but not, not that. <laughs> love it, super love it. And I think the lamps up there add a nice touch. I like the lamps. All right, guys, that's our booth for this week. <laughs> Hung the rooster plate holder up, put the rooster plates in it, and we've got the, the plate, you know, dinner size ones there. Move the bar stools from back here to right there so they can be seen from You know, when people are walking by, they can see the bar stools better because they were being kind of hidden by the, the mirror. I like that. I like that a lot. Kind of got this organized here. Moved this. This was on the floor, so that looks nice. Look, I have this front and center. <laughs> I think it was one of the first pieces you ever did. Yeah, for, yeah, I love this. This was in our room for a while, and I was like, it'll make me happier if somebody buys it. <laughs> okay, we're out. I'm home. We are home. And I decided that the rest of, well, probably for at least a couple of hours, I am going to work in my craft room. Organizing, um, I de-stashed a lot of stuff um because there's a lot of stuff i'm just not going to be doing anymore and some design teams i was on that you know i had stuff that i had purchased oh sorry i had to pick you up because i'm cleaning underneath um stuff that i had purchased when i was getting my design team package and then leftover design team stuff that i i wasn't going to use so i de-stashed it and now i can get organized in a way where i can start doing um, you know, I've gotten a number of people that are like, Rena, are you getting out of crafting? And it's like, no, I'm not getting out of crafting. I'm just shifting my crafting. I'm still going to do, um, my cards. Um, you know, I'll probably, you know, I, mostly cards, but I'm sure I'm going to do some other paper crafting. I'll do banners. Um, you know, every once in a while I might do a mini album. I kept um, several paper collections that I had wanted to do uh, mini albums on. And I did not de-stash those. So I have them for when I get to feeling like doing that. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas DIYs. A lot. And I need to get this room organized so that I can do my DIYs on my desk and it's easier for me to film here than it is out in the studio. Um, besides in the studio, I just, I don't have as good a lighting right now. And um, it's more comfortable in here when it's cold outside. Um, I do have heat out there obviously, but I have to, I have to get the, I have to turn it on and remember to turn it on in advance because I have a remote. I can turn it on from in here, but sometimes I forget. So I'm just going to set up in here to do my Christmas DIYs. Um, if there are bigger ones or honey's involved, we'll probably get done somewhere else. But he's going to be involved in quite a few of them. So I'm going to organize my crafty disorganization. Um, and... Let me give you a, a little view. So this is where I had the tripod a minute ago. So there's a lot to do and I'll be back later. Bye. It's 4.40 and 
I've done a pretty, I think, impressive job on this room. I'm going to show you a full video when I'm completely done. I did find some more goodies to de-stash, so I'm going to do those videos after this one. But, do you guys remember that I ordered one of these about four or five months ago? I'm just now opening it up. So, I ordered um, the kit that comes with it. I don't know what this stuff is, to be honest with you. I'm not actually looking super forward to it, but it's just going to be a nice component once I learn it. Um, to our midget stuffing thing. So if you couldn't see what it says, it is a silhouette cameo. And like I said, I'm not super excited about it. Honey is outside blowing out the sprinklers, <laughs> if you hear that. I, I realized when I was cleaning up that I have to make space for this thing. And I was hoping, Blake had said he was going to come visit this month, but then he said he can't come. I was kind of hoping he'd hook it to my computer for me. Because, I don't know. I am not savvy with these kinds of things at all. My BFF is, however, very savvy about these things. She has one. But I hate to, you know... I don't know, I hate to always bother her because she always helps me <laughs> stuff I can't do on the computer. Um, I wish somebody that lived nearby, if they knew how to use this, does anybody live nearby and know how to use this and could come and teach me? I would be very grateful. It's big and I'm hoping it's going to fit over here. So, anyway, I thought I would put my unboxing of this monstrosity on this video. Um, like I said, I found some more things to de-stash, so you will have seen that before you see this video. And I'm going to get back to this because I'm looking forward to showing you the reveal. And I will tell you, when I went outside earlier, uh, I was talking to Honey. I was like, how does it feel like I'm back in the craft room and you're back in the garage instead of us being like, you know, even when I'm in the studio, I'm like in and out of the garage the whole time. And he's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but um, I told him getting it cleaned and organized has made me feel crafty. What do you think of that? So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> But definitely, it, it has made me feel crafty. So that's, that's a good thing. My hand, earlier today, when we were removing that big piece of furniture from the cart we brought it in on, Honey, we were going to do it one way, and Honey changed his mind, and he didn't tell me, and like, oh my God, I was crying. He was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> it was one of those things like stubbing your toe. And it hurts really bad for like 10 minutes. And then finally, something happens that doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> so that's good. Oh my gosh. The trees are like totally, the leaves are like so dead from the storm the other day. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'll be back. It's Monday morning. It's 8.15. I've already had two cups of tea. So I'm done with tea. Oh, feels so good in here. It feels so good in here. Um, 
So I didn't get to do a video last night because Honey comes in at like six and was like, hey, you want to go to Home Depot? And I was like, I never want to go to Home Depot. But he likes to drink beer in the afternoons and he doesn't drive ever if he's had even one beer. So I was like, uh, okay. He goes, let's get dinner while we're out. I was like, I don't like to buy a meal and bring it home. Fast food, like Taco Bell, no problem. But I don't like to go to a restaurant, pick up food and bring it home. I don't like reheated food. I want to eat it when it's fresh. Anyway, I agreed to pick it up and bring it home. And I would have liked it a lot better if it had been fresh. But anyway, I had a patty melt and onion rings. And yeah, it's not on my diet. He is such a bad influence on that, <laughs> I got to tell you. Anyway, I got some videos done this morning for my scrapbook channel. <clears throat> I, uh, I am going to finish up painting that hutch that's going to be a coffee bar. Well, it'll be whatever, whoever buys it makes it, but I'm going to display it like a coffee bar. And, ooh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make it shabby chic or if I'm going to make it farmhouse. And I just, I don't know. I've got some, I ordered some stuff. When I get it, I'll show you guys. But it's from, I think it's from Dixie Bell. No, from Fusion. It's from Fusion Mineral Paint Company. Anyway, it's for decoupaging, and it's, like, so much better than Mod Podge. Um, but it, I had to order it from Canada. It's the only place I could find it. And um, you can decoupage wrapping paper with it. You can decoupage tissue paper. They were, like, the cheapest, crappiest wrapping paper you got. You can. And I have some beautiful wrapping paper. Let's go look, because I organized the closet so that the closet... <laughs> can house let's see um oh there we go can house my transfers because they can't be out in the building because the heat and the cold messes them up so um anyway look at this look at this it almost makes me want to paint that um that hutch in a different color Oh my God, if I used this, I would have to paint it a different color. Oh my God, honey would have a heart attack. Um, but that's, that's gorgeous paper with pops of gold. Ooh, honey would have a heart attack. But I also have this paper and the only thing I don't like about this paper is that it has an Asian building on it. I love the bird, but oh, I love the Asian. Um, and then there's this other option back here. What do they call this? Like a damask? And then if I did this, I could probably leave it white, but I'm actually thinking about changing the color. I really am. Oh my gosh. He'll have a fit. Um, he'll, but he'll have a fit at first, but then he'll be like, well, you're the designer. And I'll be like, yes, 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 I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, he is so happy <laughs> with how things are going that he thinks in the shower. He's like a thinker in the shower. So, he gets out of the shower last night, and I'm already like this, kind of like half awake, half asleep. I didn't even get to watch all of The Walking Dead last night because I was in and out of sleep. But he comes out, and he sits down on my side of the bed, and he's like, honey, I just have to tell you. And he, like, wakes me up. And he spends about 10 minutes telling me 
how awesome I am and how proud he feels of what we've accomplished and how he gets it that I've done most of it. And for a year and a half, he was always making it sound like he was doing most of it because he was doing some painting. He didn't really paint a lot. I painted more than he did. And so I was like, oh, thank you to finally, I mean, not that I had to have that, but it felt very satisfying for him to acknowledge to me how much I'm doing because there's a lot of times when he gets mad and when he gets mad he's like well I don't own I don't work three hours a day I gotta go work 12 hours a day and I'm like I don't work three hours a day what are you talking about I work usually about 10 to 4 or 10 to 5 I do not work three hours a day and in the hours before 10 I am either here searching Facebook marketplace and planning to pick up stuff or I'm here going through Pinterest getting ideas or I'm here doing videos for vintage stuff and things or I'm out treasure hunting at the thrift stores and then on my way home, if I get off at four or five, I'm doing the same stuff. So I'm literally working, and I start usually at 5.30 a.m. I am literally working more hours than he does. But because I'm not at a store, he doesn't consider it work. So anyway, my point is, it was very satisfying yesterday when he acknowledged how much I've done to make this happen. And it makes me a little teary <laughs> um, that he did that. So anyway, I am looking at sequins. So I'm gonna make shaker cards for Christmas. Um, people started going through my cards yesterday as soon as we put them out, like people were stopping and they were looking through them. I don't think they're going to be a huge seller, but I think I will sell some. Um, so I also wanted to tell you that so far in one, we're going to consider that we set up end of the day last Monday. So we're talking to five days of sales we have sold $215 in our first five days of full, five full days of being open. <coughs> and one of those, we had a blizzard. So. <laughs> but we did sell stuff that day. All right, what day was that? That was Thursday the 10th. Yeah, we sold one thing on that day. <laughs> anyway, so $215 our first five days happy with that actually and I think that the ball will start rolling um, so we sold two of the religious plaques I had gotten at Hobby Lobby at 90% off I paid a dollar for those got five dollars each for those um, I had gotten these spoon rests at Goodwill and they were roosters and there was three of them and they were four dollars a piece and I was like that's a little high but I sold one for eight dollars so I doubled doubled our money there um, I had this brown wooden basket and it had like copper um, embossed sides and I on the copper part I had put green like apothecary and then distressed back some of the uh, copper <laughs> to show through and I sold that for $12 I think I had gotten that at Goodwill for like a dollar or two um, we sold two of the bar stools the white bar stools that had the grain sack um, stencil on top so two of those 
and we had picked up a washboard um, while we were antiquing camping a uh, mm, year and a half ago and sold that for 25 didn't make a huge profit because I think we paid 17 for that um, but I, I somebody bought it pretty quick I should have sold it for more um, and then yesterday we sold I got this clock at Goodwill for a dollar it was an octagon shape just a normal this size clock I painted it white distressed it and sold that for $12 um, I had a farm sign about maybe this big um, it said farmhouse or something and then I had the definition underneath it sold that for $15 and I probably paid like $2 for that at 90% off um, a large white frame we had it if you watch the video we had that horse halter in the middle of that frame and the funny thing is is the day we were going back that no it was the first day we set up Sunday we were supposed to come home and do some clear coating and honey was like oh my body hurts I don't want to clear coat I really don't I'm gonna clear coat one thing what do you want and I was like but if you're gonna clear coat why not clear coat like a whole bunch of stuff and he was like no I'm not gonna do it <laughs> so I got a brush and the clear coat and I started brush clear coating stuff he's like what are you doing I'm like well if you're not gonna do it I'm gonna do it and he's like oh you make me feel so bad anyway <laughs> that frame was one of those things and we sold that for $35 <laughs> And then I had this two-tier metal white stand I had gotten at Hobby Lobby again it was either 70 or 90 percent off and I had used it for like five years at the shop and I just like one day I was like oh, I'm gonna take that for the booth and I grabbed that from the shop and sold that for $20 so there you go that's what we got going on $215 in five days we're happy um, and now I'm kind of getting an understanding of what people might like it's help every day that we sell things it's like okay that sold that's good that means maybe I should keep that type of item in stock I got some more pricing things because what I intend to do hello see bat dog Say hi, bat dog. Da -da 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 bat dog. Bat dog. Give me a kiss. Yeah. All right. So I need to go out and get busy. It's almost 8:30 now, and <clears throat> I got all my stuff done in here. Oh, let me show you real quick. So, look at this fabric. See this fabric? This fabric is going to be incorporated in a DIY. And this fabric I wanted a bigger checkerboard but that's all I could find at Joann's so those two things are going to be in a, <coughs> a DIY coming up and that's another thing so probably starting midweek Wednesday or Thursday of this week um, I'm going to start doing frequent DIYs I'd like to say every day I will have one project Christmas DIY, but I can. I will say at least every other day, but <laughs> she wants to go outside. This is how she acts when she wants to go outside. I love you. Anyway. All right. So there you go. See you guys later. Had my breakfast. Tummy feels good. I decided to celebrate our sales with one more cup of tea. And I have to tell you, I really messed this one up. So this was one of the pieces that I decided to hand clear coat because my husband was kind of being a brat and didn't want to clear coat. So the brush I grabbed wasn't cleaned well. So it's got all these gray brush strokes in it. And, you know, it kind of looks 
aged. Um, I mean, you know, what is your opinion? See, the outside doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> the bottom looks bad. I'm going to show you. Hey! The bottom looks bad. I can't tilt it very much because this hand won't allow me to do that. Anyway, I've got to go out to that building because that building has the better heater in it than the one I've got in here. So I'm going to move it over. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'm going to do a picture and I'm going to put it on Facebook. And I'm going to do a, what do you call it? Uh, a poll. See if I should go shabby chic or farmhouse with this mini hutch. Okay, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know by the end of the day. This is the exact same tripod as I have in the house, and this one's like, yeah, not wanting to, it's like real wobbly, real easy to wobble. Annoying, exact same item. Oh well. I guess I'll have to deal with it. It's a little nippy in here. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the heaters. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself first. I'm gonna get the heaters switched out. And then I'm gonna get busy because smalls are selling. And I sold a clock. So I need to get this one over there. Tomorrow is half price senior day at ARC. So I'll definitely be hitting over there. All right. I'm going to be sharing a lot with you today. Hope you enjoy. So it is 1025. And I have been working on removing tape and price tags for about 45 minutes. And I have come to the conclusion that the people that put this stuff on don't care. <laughs> but I'm sure you already knew that. And it's a pain in the proverbial butt. However, I have also come to the conclusion that when I go um, treasure hunting. When I come home, I am going to clean all of these off my pieces and clean my pieces right away. I'm also very much thinking it's important to keep an inventory of what I paid because pretty good at remembering what I paid for an item and in the past I really didn't buy anything unless it's 50% off however now that I'm getting a feel for how much I can sell stuff for whether it's altered or not um, I'm not remembering Cause like, where is it? This, I paid full price for it, it was $5.99. Um, I'm going to probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but if I waited a couple months, I wouldn't remember if I got it on half price day or not. So, My advice to you, if you are doing this, is to just clean all these tags off and clean your pieces right away. And that way, when you need to grab it out of your inventory, oop, almost cut my finger off. Um, you know, it's ready to go. So that's, you know, I had pieces that we painted and <laughs> We took it to the antique mall and I was like getting ready to put it out. I was like, oh my God, this has a Goodwill price on it. <laughs> Most
most of them didn't, but there were a few that escaped me. And so my new plan is to do these right away. Maybe not that very same day, but before I go treasure hunting again, these will all have the prices off of it. And I noticed on these that some of them have little chips. I don't really think that matters because I can take a brown paint and just dab right there. Nobody's going to notice. And if they do, really, this is just a little, this is just a little knickknack that goes up there. Nobody's going to notice. However, I am debating keeping these for my coffee bar. Because I'm going to have fun decorating my coffee bar for Christmas. I don't really do fall because I decorate on Halloween night for Christmas. Yes. people. Some people might call me weird. But I really don't care. Because it's my house. And I want to decorate it on Halloween night. I really, I really hate this because can you see what happens? Now, I could use Goo Gone on this, but I'm not sure what it's going to do to the wood. And that, good thing that I got these for 50 cents a piece. Um, I guess if it messes up the wood, I can always paint that. But I really wanted to leave them natural. Um, I have a basket that we already took at the antique mall. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a measuring tape over here. I measured the basket holes yesterday while I was there. They are four inches. Let us see if these will fit in that basket. Because it will make that basket much more valuable. I can put these glass jars in it. Oh, they will. And I have five of these, and that basket has four holes. So that's perfect. I'm probably going to run these through the dishwasher and see how much of this stuff will come off before I have to goo go on these. Anyway, just thought I'd catch you up on what I was doing that I got the tags off of completely ready to stain or paint or stencil or whatever it is and then this these are the glass items and they're going to go through the dishwasher and I'm just going to take these and soak them face down I'm not going to put them through the dishwasher because I don't want to mess up the whatever they call this so this box is going in the house right now to go in the dishwasher and then I'm going to start painting and doing some fun stuff with this stuff. Look at that guys. Look at that. You want to see out my window today? Look what, look what I got right here. Hardly any water in there. The only water that's in there is from melted snow. This is what I don't like about winter is they close off the waterfall that's up I don't know maybe 20 yards up that way they close it off and they don't get any water except snow melt but when it's all covered with snow it looks so pretty out here it was so pretty the other day and here is my studio Look at this piece. And it has an octagon mirror to go with it. And I have some ideas for this. I don't like the handles. We'll see. But it does make it look vintage with those funky, funky handles. I got this at a garage sale for 50 40 50 or 40 or 50 dollars a couple years ago what's that 
the drawers all open nice. So I saw one, I think it was Vintail, Re Re Retail Vintage Therapy, I think it's called. And she had painted the background and left the drawers. I don't know. But those look like they need help. Give me some, give me some thoughts on these. Okay, guys. All right. Going to the dishwasher. The millions of things that I have to do today. I uh, wanted to be sure this clock was functional. I put a battery in it. It is, as you can see, working. Um, I'm going to make sure it keeps time for this afternoon before I paint it. And... Here's my stuff that's ready to be painted, but I discovered I have a lot of items that I don't need to alter that need price tags. So I decided my time would be better spent doing that today so I can take that stuff directly to the antique mall in the next couple of days because that's just something because it's broken. I think somebody glued this layer. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Anyway, so I'm going to shut things down out here and go in the house, price stuff, finish cleaning the stuff that's going through the dishwasher, and um, paint the hutch. I need this box. I got it. Email these people and tell them their stupid tripod is not working. So, let's go do that. Ugh. Washer's all done. Ah! So, I'm going to take all this stuff out, scrape off any leftover tags, and hope that everything came off. Um, it's quarter to one, actually 10 to one. That stuff over there needs priced. I'm going to take that in the bedroom and I'm going to lay down, not lay down. I'm going to sit up <laughs> and I'm going to price that stuff. I'm tired already guys, but I still got to go to the mall. I did some, uh, packing and shipping um of some more d stash items oh it's not even one and i'm exhausted there's lunch That's how we matters to you, and, it matters to us. and there's my pile of stuff and my list of stuff so lunch and stuff and dog hey guys it's about 3 35 made it to the mall Got the rooster cabinet and these things. Ugh, so tired. Just got finished. Kind of revamping this booth a little bit. It's so small. <laughs> it's so small compared to the one at the antique mall. I'd really like to take that and that. But we're only going to be here another six weeks, and then yeah. um, we'll take all this stuff to the antique mall. I'm taking a few things with me. Across the street from the mall. <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist, even though tomorrow's half-off day. I'll see what I can find and what's worth paying a regular price for. So after I went to ARC, because I didn't find very much there, I went to Goodwill. And I didn't find very much there, but what I found, I really like. And I'm tired. <laughs> I am so tired, and I still gotta go paint that hutch. Oh. Everybody says paint it pearl and use the wrapping paper on the back. But somebody pointed out when I display it in the booth and I put you know, because I have to use the furniture in there to display the smalls. You're not going to be able to see the wrapping paper in the back. So I've opted to keep it white and make it farmhouse. 
Anyway, so I found this clock, and I know it's yellow, but I think a lot of people do their kitchens in yellow, and I think it adds a nice pop of color, and look at those numbers. They're real wood dimensional numbers. I like it. I even think the paint job is nice, but we'll see. So $6 for this, and I think I would charge $20 at the, at the antique mall. Um, this was the find of, I mean, this is the coolest thing. I love it. I wish I drank lots of kinds of tea because this is cool. It's to store your tea bags in. I think it's so cool. The Metropolitan Tea Company Limited. And I don't know, what would you do? Would you just leave that and sell it the way it is? Or would you paint it and distress it? You're going to decide. Because part of me thinks it's cool the way it is. And part of me thinks it would be really cool if it was painted. So, I'm going to let you guys decide. The only thing I found at ARC... There were two things. There was a this. How cute is he? How cute would he be with an with a spray of stuff? Christmas stuff coming out. So yeah, I'm gonna have um a Christmas area in the in the um antique mall. And I'm probably going to do some to take to the regular mall as well. And I thought he was super cute. He was $2. Oh, this thing. How much was this thing? $6.99. I'm sure I would sell this for $25 or $30. And then um, I have a ton of doilies. But this one was really nice for $1.99. And this smells like an old lady house, but that's okay. I'll get rid of that. So, yeah. Four things. Two thrift stores. And I, I really wanted to go to art because tomorrow is 50% off day. And I was like, okay, let me see if there's anything that I would be willing to come back for tomorrow. And there was... A really nice mirror that was $30, so it would be $15 tomorrow, if that color is even on sale. So, anyway, I'm tired, and I'm going to go out and paint the damn hutch. <laughs> See you later. Oh, and while I was gone, my knee is hurting so bad. I think I mentioned that when I was on the floor cutting fabric last weekend in the booth, when I tried to get up, I had a really hard time getting up. And ever since then, I've been having a lot of problems with my knee. And I've been, like, if I've been sitting down for a while, I will limp, like, the first minute. I will have to limp. Um, I get up in the middle of the night, I have to limp. Once I kind of get moving around, the limp goes away, but it hurts. And I had knee surgery about 15 years ago, and he did tell me that eventually I would have to have a knee replacement. So, yeah, super excited. Going out to paint the hutch. Bye. Just finished the final coat on the hutch. It's staying white. I might put some kind of design on the back of the shelving. I wish I could put a transfer on the front 
and maybe maybe I could I'm just worried about those lines well and then there's those big pulls that wouldn't come off so I had to paint over it so probably no transfer but maybe maybe something on the background paper maybe I should look online right now because I'm tired and I want to go sit down I see some paint drips so I gotta go get uh, my brush and shut down in here I gotta bring that I gotta bring this in ha! no this is not blowing heat but I did leave this on This stuff's ready to go. <sighs> it's been a very tiring day. All right. Studio shut down. Dogs out. I do have that little doodicky plugged in back there. That means the remote in my craft room will turn on the heat. I think. I got to figure it out real quick. Because I want to be able to turn it on in the house. It warms up. Because I can turn it on at like 5.30. Come out here at 7. 